Okay, welcome to the Highway Ghost. I'm in Macon, Georgia, here at Rose Hill Cemetery, and this is some additional footage I wanted to add to my visit at the Almond Brothers grave. This is the second time I visited the grave, and I came to pay respects to Greg that died a few years ago, 2017, and that's his grave right there in the center near his brother Dwayne. And over here is Butch Trucks, and he died in 2017 as well. You can see the drumsticks on his grave. Now it was rumored that Butch took his own life, but I don't know. And anyway, Greg died 2017. Cher attended the funeral. And as you can see with the liquor bottles and beer cans, they had to put this fence up because it's a party spot and has been since the 70s. But anyway, this is Greg's grave. Gregory Lenore Almond. He died May 27th, 2017. And over here is Dwayne. He died in 1971 in October in a motorcycle crash that happened here in town. It says Dwayne Almond. Okay, a year later, another band member, Barry Oakley, he got killed in a motorcycle crash right near the same area where Dwayne died, within like a block or so. But tragedy seems to follow famous people rock stars singers actors actresses while i was standing here filming i noticed something odd it's right here directly in front of Dwayne's grave you'll see what's known as a haitian rose and some powder on the fence all over the ground Well, I kind of stepped in something crunchy and I was like, what is this? You know, at first I thought maybe they'd done some construction here, but I got to looking and that's not cement. And when the breeze hits you just right, you'll smell what is very pungent. And it's somebody's remains. I just stepped in a human remains visiting the graves of dead rock stars which I kind of get it you know fans want to be with who they love but when you smell something that's the only way to describe it is it smells like when you get your teeth drilled out and get a filling put in at the dentist that scent that it puts off when your teeth is hot and that drills go in there mixed with the scent of burning hair so this is definitely somebody And also, for some reason, there's a knife down here. I don't know. I've heard that there's been strange activity happened here. That's why the fence went up back in the day. I talked to a lady that was actually from Macon, and she said she'd came out here one time and had saw uh, people in black robes practicing what she described as a black mass or a satanic ritual but I don't know if there's any, you know, thing to that story or what, but it's kind of odd, to say the least, for somebody to walk up on a black mass happening on a grave, but stuff like that doesn't bother me, but I always, I don't do stuff like that because I respect the dead and their final resting places. So if you come to see the Almond Brothers, please be respectful. These guys are legends. We miss you guys. We love your music, and you'll live on forever. You can't kill rock and roll. Holly Ghost, signing off.
Almond Brothers Grave, Macon, Georgia. Peace.